Found some. Get in the boat, boy. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Mm. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. That was the last.
sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. She taught you to hunt. What she knew. Show me. Now? Now. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh... This way. There it is! Hold! Uh. What are you uh. doing? Now its guard is up! Only fire! Holy fire, when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Feet solid. Steady yourself. Exhale and release. I got it! Good. Oh, it's still alive. Your knife. No. Finish what you started. Boy, boy, look at me. We did 
did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. Inside, boy. Lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. Again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <clears throat> Your anger. You can get lost in it. The path ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. What was that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor. Now! But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Be bigger. But you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. <gasps> Ugh. 
leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. You would not listen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Fine. My turn. <laughs> Incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Tell me what I want. Don't stop. Real soon. Why are there two beds in there? Did I? Fight is pointless. You're 
Let's finish this. <laughs> without you. But we cannot stay here. so much I, I thought you're all right I am all right come <clears throat> gather your things we are leaving thought I wasn't ready you are not we have no choice now Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. this time there's been a protection stave around our entire woods but the staves broken there did you cut those down she had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre why'd she do that Come. No looking back now. Move. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet! It's fine! See? Ah! Help! Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! That was a 
so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> Ugh. More Draugr. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Remember! Accuracy over speed! Oh, what's that smell? Now! Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look! Someone start the fires! Sigmund, you're nice! So many days without meat. Meat? <clears throat> Wait, us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. Father! Help me! Atreus! Boy! Back. It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. You are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know. I had to do it. I didn't know that. I just... Then we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no. I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. I'm ready. Can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. You were right. Say, you must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at <laughs> Say, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. <laughs> you gotta handle her special. Or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? Ah! You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, dig your beach, ya, Fuck off. 
That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight. Until I say stop or we are dead. Understand? Pull your weight or we go home. I understand. Good then. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a glue around here. That's it! I see runes! Boy, what do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinslow. Something happened! Boy, these tracks. Hmm, a boar maybe? Not sure, but I'll find it. Ready yourself, boy! I did what you said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. See over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Boy, betray us! We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. 
The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. So now... Focus. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Grey This way. I'm sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemelay! Look! It's all right. I promise you, he's safe. On the stave there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, our father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root growth just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? a white petal flower in my garden? Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's Chris. <sighs> Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it, then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on.
How exactly what I need. So he's gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from... those who might make your journey difficult. below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? see a lot more of him now. The water dropped, and the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded fever, it is sad seed. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. <sighs> what do you think he wants? To test our patience. 
When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the world tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. <laughs> Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um... How did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <clears throat> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my... brother. I knew it! You are Brock's brother! The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. No boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Is that... smoke? How are you not tired? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? You must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? 
Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before, and there's no way back to talk. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Dios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait. It won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Back into place. <sighs> Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? 
They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. By what? Did then your magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect! Come back up! We're ready now! That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the Giants or the Elves build Tear Stone? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So. That's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the Realm Travel Bridge will align, and the Realm Between Realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. 
Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Light of all time, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <gasps> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get it Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. They keep murdering the light up. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Uh. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Wait, could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Look at that. That must be the Ring Temple. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. It's sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but... The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay. I belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sand bowl. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. Draw it. Boy! It was the voices again. Different voices. 
Less angry. You're asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard, um, it was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard, Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Go behind me, boy. That can't be good. <laughs> Bridges. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> I have him. <laughs> They're not boy. <laughs> Stay back. Yes, we are near our goal. But we must be careful. Understand? God. Jump, boy! Right! Look out! Here they come! Stay behind me and protect our flank! Yes, sir! I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Resort. You're giving me your axe. I'm letting you hold my axe. It's not a gift. Still.
What is this? Fay? You have to come back. You left me here alone. Atreus? Alone with him. He always leaves. He's never here. He doesn't want me and he never will. I don't know him and he doesn't know me. Doesn't seem to want to. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except, I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. Go ahead. Greatest man nor tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, I see. Stupid man. So, it's a door after all.
Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Was she right? Who? You know. Oh. She was not there. I like you wouldn't even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Sad the elves can't work things out. How fun such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things: survival or advantage. Battles may be from another realm and we met your brother wait not that order did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade hmm you do know he lost his talent right just up and left him one day <laughs> tried taking me down with him hmm. did he botch up on a girl quite the opposite Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. I could carry here now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. I see how this works. The claws on one side, and if we get this unstuck. Oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. 
That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm. Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. Oh, we're moving again. Hey, when we get to the summit, how far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. I just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live. something that big if we can catch it off balance I can distract him what are you doing we have to help him break right find an angle wait for my mark thank you
Wow, we actually did it. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years! Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me! You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows, straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah, he said you lost your talent. <laughs> Oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No. No. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um, oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the bowstring's fiber, aiming it at that hardened world tree sap that vibrated patterns to fracture point. What's that mean? Oh, oh, I see. You figured it out on your own then. Just never mind. Look! The summit! We're so close now! Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's alright. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Here we go! go. Oh, another one down! Go! Oh, no. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. He's not company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor are deigned to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, 
So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, well, we took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She, was to... she wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak, in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is... There's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Uh, so you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. Hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fred. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. 
They're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and Roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Tanker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chute. Mm. He eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It works! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. you made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors that fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, 
he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess, waking up to see it, was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your time. <laughs> to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Wow, that was, uh, something that, uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water dropped. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Yes. Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well 
Dunlock. Write it again. Thola. I'm rising! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thola. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of New Ord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? Whoa. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. <clears throat> and where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Blood. The boy's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see?
Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like... Brain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magnus got it! Be a joke! Or if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me! That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! You don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Whoops! Bosley God broke him! <laughs> oh, no! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Somebody just called the serpent. He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Brother! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! He's in. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. 
Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This room opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. And what I should tag along? No. Your work here... is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this. So, hope those blades work. The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty.
have the heart. I need nothing more. You're set. Try not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. Yes, the will. I can break the fever, but to heal. You must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. Father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? 
The truth. I am a god boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god. It can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't... feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. So, maybe I won't be strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the Giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the Giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is it back? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it!
boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. So I'm a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. You will be better. power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here, but only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Certain. I got it. Trust me. Good then. Aim for the face. close to the end. Sit. Lemnian wine. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. Journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? 
Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Ah. Uh -huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear, then. Nearly there, now. Finally. We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why well, I remember once. Baba, look out! Miss me. Give up! 
Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. It was me. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. <laughs> that wasn't 
Me? I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. Yeah. We must keep moving. Never Stay out of sight. This. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, Rich. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this, this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. You never God. have to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? You never feel again? Yes. Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please, please, please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Son, trust me in time. You will find me. You will find me. Come on. No. Yes. I won't. We can figure this out, I promise. Trust me, I know how to do it. <laughs> what you did to me? Freya is his mother. What you did to Why did me? you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you, I have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this soon. Great. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall, which, sadly, we are down. It is time, my son. Look around at what you have done. Your plan! You're both trapped! 
We are leaving this realm. Now! Look at that! It's the missing panel about here! Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. Since she had my head at her mercy, back when I figured out Boulder's weakness. I'm here. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern well the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. you're grinning. It's downright unsettling. Mm. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, the price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weeping. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No.
What's moving? Everything. <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All Do right. You what now? Thanks, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. What have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great are Dumbler's others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this in the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible! How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do! The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Look! We're back in Midgard. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> 
He showed it to me, you see, and I... Oh. The coin! Sorry, will you excuse me? Oh. Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! <laughs> we better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the worst. Anything you need to do, I'd do it now. Just some sacrifice. Once more to the horn. strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah. I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. But like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. They're so weird. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is why, isn't it? Hi. You should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. So how do we get back out? Oh God! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! 
Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. To this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! still trust her, right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you... How, how I feel? How I feel? I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you. At all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You. I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? I said stop! <laughs> <laughs> You might want to 
Let's run away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> What is that? <laughs> I can feel this. <sighs> oh, I can feel everything. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now? He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. She controlling that thing? Stay out of it! I can reason with him! No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you!
Father, not a threat. You will not come for us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. No. No. We can. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you a whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop you. <laughs> I know.
I love you. Why? Why do you even care? You, you could have walked away. The cycle ends here. It must be better than this. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? 
We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! We did it. We did. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Huh. Who's the Guardian? It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. 
This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that Mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? I 
Constance the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow! You actually told a good story. I mean, you missed it. I understand if you want to go home, but maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for Dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? We're finally home! Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> 